In this video we're going to install a couple of earth clamps on this pipe. This is the main incoming water pipe in a property and in next week's video we're actually going to fit something in there which I'll leave as a bit of a surprise but for this week we need to fit an earthing strap there and there before we actually cut the pipe. The instructions do actually tell you to fit the item first and then put the cross bonding on but in my opinion it is a better idea to do it first because if that pipe is live and you cut in it, you could be the path to earth. So for that reason, I'm gonna install the earthing clamps and the earthing wire first. The first thing we need to do is clean the pipe. We need to get it nice and shiny so that the clamps make a good electrical contact. To clean it, I'm gonna use that, which is a scotch bright pad. If you're not sure that the copper pipe that you are working on is part of the earthing system, it is always a good idea to use something like this. You can actually buy kits now for doing this which make it a lot easier. When you buy these, they're usually assembled like so. What we need to do is undo that lock nut, which in this case is an eight millimeter and we're just going to remove the screw so that is the warning label telling people not to remove it what I normally do is remove the nut pop the screw through the warning label and then put the nut back on and then we can screw that back into the clamp very loosely so I'll take the clamp like so, wrap that around the section that we've just cleaned and then we feed the strap through that opening and pull the strap very tight. So once that's in the correct position I then like to get a pair of mole grips or pliers grip that on there and then pull it really tight before tightening up the screw. Once that's nice and tight you can then release the pliers and then we can take the spanner and we can tighten up the lock nuts at the back there and that will stop that from working loose. Then when we've done that you've got the warning label at the front there. You can then just wrap that round again to get that out of the way. The wire that we're going to be using for the earthing is obviously green and yellow in the UK and that is 10 millimeter. We're just going to start by stripping off some of the insulation. I'm actually just going to take a little bit more of that off using a knife. We're then going to take a non-insulated lug and we're going to put that on the end of the metal conductor and then I'm just going to tap that on. So that that is on as far as it will go. And then I'm going to take the crimping pliers and I'm going to crimp the lug onto the end of the wire. And that has crimped the lug successfully to the end of that wire. Once you've done that, if you try to pull it off, there should be no way that you can pull that off. We actually want the total length from one lug to the other to be approximately 10 inches but rather than having a straight piece of wire we're actually going to coil this up and that will make it easier for when we cut the pipe. So you can coil it round virtually anything. I'm going to use this piece of 22mm copper pipe. So 
So we can quite easily get 10 inches out of that. So I'm just going to cut that off about there. Can then remove this screw. Can then take the lug, push the screw and the square washer through the hole on the lug. And then we can screw that into position. We do need to check that that is tight. Again, that needs to be very tight. We've now got a flexible piece of earthing wire there. We can now safely cut this pipe and work on it. If you're not using lugs, what most people do is take a screwdriver and just push that through a couple of the conductors to split them. Try to split them relatively evenly. So we've got three on one side there and four on the other. You can then insert the screw through the centre of that. And then you can tighten that up. Again, that screw needs to be very tight. If you are ever in doubt with copper pipe and you are installing a plastic fitting in there, which will break the electrical continuity, it's always a good idea to cross bond it like so. I hope you found this video useful. If you have and you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel.